So finally, for the last lesson of this giant Google AdWords module, let's talk about what you need to be doing strategically overall and handling your total efforts when using the Google AdWords system. So essentially, you're gonna prioritize, optimize, and expand. So first of all, you need to prioritize all your activity by clicks, conversions, and profit. I talked to you about this basically when, in a previous lesson when I was talking to you about, you know, how do you look at your data to figure out, you know, what to move into their own campaigns, what to give, you know, your most attention to. And like I said, a big mistake marketers make is that they'll run reports and they'll look at keyword activity, let's say for a certain campaign and an ad group where they have some kind of, not, not necessarily broad match, but where they have even phrase match where it opens up to other keywords and they'll just run a report and they'll just sort it all by clicks and that's what they look at. And then they kind of take off some of the top 20 doing the 80-20 rule, you know, that the top 20% that's getting the 80% of the clicks and then they set up new ad groups and try to optimize for those and so on and so forth. But that's a big mistake because you need to not only be looking at clicks like I previously explained, you also need to be looking at conversions because some keywords will get a lot of clicks and you know, you'll know you just kind of sort them by clicks and you'll see all the keywords based on which ones are getting clicks. But certain keywords will get much higher conversions than other, uh, other keywords. They'll produce more conversions. And so you wanna isolate those because those are valuable keywords. And then of course, ultimately, you'll find certain keywords that produce more profit. Now, just because a keyword gets more conversions, that not, that's not necessarily be meaning it makes more profit because you have to take into account the bid amount and the click cost. So that has something to do with the net profit. Like I explained in that previous lesson when I talked about this, you could have you know, a keyword campaign, a little small keyword that doesn't get a lot of traffic, but maybe it nets $200 a month in profit when it's all said and done. That could be a campaign most people overlook because it doesn't get a lot of click activity, but because it nets the most profit, you'll definitely want to give it the most attention because this game for your business is about making money. It's not about getting a lot of clicks. It's not about necessarily getting a lot of conversions unless those are sales, but it's getting everything done profitably. So you want to prioritize your activity by these three things and then that'll allow you to know where to put your focus on, you know, optimizing them to improve them, and make them even better. Because listen, with Google AdWords, you're going to have a lot of keywords, eventually maybe hundreds of ad groups, hundreds of campaigns, and you can't put all your focus on every single one of those ad groups to tweak them, improve them, try to make them better. So you have to pick your battles. In fact, you'll find that a lot of them, you'll just want to pause and stop them from running and spending your money because you'll find the other ones, the ones that get more clicks and conversions and more net profit is where you need to put your focus and that's where you wanna keep paying for, uh, you know, and having them live. The next thing is to prioritize by break-even points. We talked about these formulas in the traffic formulas module earlier in the course. You know, categorizing activity and sources and campaigns by 70% of break-even or higher so obviously, if you spend a dollar and get back a dollar in net profit, that's break even for your business. So if you're 70% of the way, so if you spend a dollar and get back 70 cents, that means you're 70% of break even. That's a very good amount because you're within range of just getting you know, a little bit of improvement to get it to break even and then to profitability. So you may want to set a bunch of different ad groups with a priority of one or a campaign of one. You know, Remember I explained how I like to name my campaigns and ad groups and I have that number at the beginning to give it a priority? Well, that's typically based on how close it is to break even or how profitable it is. Uh, and, or, and or how much traffic or conversions it gets, how important it may be to the business. And so these are one of the things to take into account. Well, 70% plus is typically a very high priority. Uh, that next level would be above 50% of break even. You spend a dollar, you get back 50 cents. You're you know, losing 50 cents on every click, but at least you're getting money within the range and realm of being able to improve it to get it to hopefully uh, break even and then to profit. So you don't wanna just you know discard those. Any activity at all, making any money at all is good. And if it's within range of break even, you can always improve it and hopefully turn it into profitability. So that would be anywhere between 50% of break even and up to 70% 
because 70% over is that first category that, that I mentioned of 70% plus. And then of course you have the 25% of break even or up to 50% of break even uh, that has a lower value. And then of course, anything below 25% has even lower value. Typically anything below 50% of break even, you just want to pause and only come back to those keyword groups and campaigns after you've exhausted and squeezed all the profit out of everything else. Because typically you'll find that some, there's so much more to work with above that, that you just don't have time to mess with uh, those that, that are getting those kind of results. Next, you just simply, when you do, after you prioritize and then you go through the ones you've prioritized where to put your time or someone else's time if they're going to manage this, you'll optimize your ads to increase CTR. We've talked about this. The name of the game with AdWords is high C CTR, high click-through rate. The higher you get the click-through rates on your ads, the more they're going to show your ads and the less you'll pay per click and ultimately the more profit you'll make if conversion data stays about the same. So keep adding new ads, split testing new things, try different tricks, those, you know, display URL things, make an offer in the thing, try different things, but keep trying to optimize to increase click-through rate. The other thing to optimize, of course, is your landing page conversion. So you'll want to split test landing pages and keep trying to improve that conversion. Then you'll want to optimize bids. By optimizing bids, switching it over to manual and then slowly lowering them down and keeping an eye on click-through rates and everything else, you'll be able to hone in per keyword uh, the actual profit amounts that are coming from your efforts. So bid optimization is very critical in order to maximize the profit you make from using AdWords. So those are the three core things you're gonna optimize there when you, after you prioritize what's to be optimized, then you're gonna do those things. Optimize the ads for click rate, your landing page for conversion, and then your bids to maximize your actual net profit per keyword. Last but not least, then you expand. You expand your efforts in AdWords by adding more keywords to test with. It's just that simple. And then to prioritize their results into your overall flow of optimization and management. And so you want to add more keywords. You want to keep an eye on Google Trends like you learned in the Keyword Science module of how to find keywords. So you're going to be on the, the lookout for new up and coming keywords for your market. You want to keep an eye out for your customers. Keep looking at the spy tools to see, you know, the new keyword ads that they're running and what they're figuring out that maybe you didn't know about uh, when you started your efforts. So you're just going to keep trying to expand uh, with keywords. Once you get enough data in your account, you can go into like there's an opportunity section of AdWords where it'll start showing you other keywords. Uh, kind of from your market and with your competitors, and they'll tell you where else you should try to be uh, advertising and what other keywords you should add. So again, you can look under that dimensions reporting and you can find different types of keyword variations that uh, may have been discovered in your results that you weren't thinking of. You can isolate those into the individual singular types of campaigns and then start monetizing those and optimizing those. So that's what you want to eventually do. You start building out your account and optimizing, optimizing and expanding your efforts. So one last thought here, you never really want to delete anything. You just can kind of pause it and it stops running, but you'll keep it. So you'll always have the data and know what you tested and tried that didn't work. So you, you don't come in later and go, or if someone else for your company takes over the account, they don't wonder if you tried to run a test for a certain ad, you know, an ad. Uh, because it's there in the data and it just shows the results that it wasn't very good. So it's critical that you constantly get on a regular schedule of downloading your data from your account and backing it up. So you do have this historical archive of all the things you tested with your money, you know, all the different keywords, the different ad types and everything else, because as your account gets bigger and bigger, more complicated, it's harder to see all that stuff at a glance because there's so much of it. So always kind of keep a backup copy offline of all your data of everything that you've ever tested, and it'll help you make smarter decisions moving forward. But that's basically it. You hopefully will make a lot of money with the AdWords system if you can fine tune all this stuff and get it to work for your business and for your market. And the way you'll do it is by prioritizing the different keywords and the activity from them learning to optimize them, to squeeze them for more and more and better and better results, hopefully more and more profitability, and then expanding your AdWords efforts by getting into more and more keywords than the ones that you've already tested and or are currently actively running ads to.